What's up guys? My name is Logan Owens. I'm the owner of Foster and Pine Co. Today we're going to be making a leatherette patch hat for an order for my business. So stick around and I'll show you guys from start to finish how we get it done. So the first thing we're going to need to do is print off our packing slip from Shopify on the computer. So let's go ahead and print this packing slip off and we can see what we have to do. And now we have our packing slip. So customers requesting a charcoal and white dad shit hat. So I think we can handle that. What's up guys? So now we're in Lightburn, a software used specifically for laser engraving. Um, this is where I do all of my laser engraving from. So we got our image uploaded here. I already have it into the format I need. So let's zoom in on that. You'll notice I have three lines. I have a red line, which is going to be my cut line. I have two black lines. Those black lines are going to be a thick fill line. So next we have our actual engraving area. So we're engraving the dad shit patch today. So we have this set to fill. So over here you have fill, line, line. The green I use for my, uh, my fake stitches, but we're not doing that on this one today. So all the black on here is gonna be set to fill. So basically that means it's gonna fill in any areas within the black lines. Uh, the power I have set at 12 and my speed is at 400. Um, now these are the settings that work personally for me. I definitely recommend you do test cards and find out what works best for you and for your specific laser. So red, like I said earlier, is gonna be our cut line. So I have our power set to 28 and our speed at 40. So you'll notice that's a lot slower speed and a lot higher power. So that's gonna give us a nice clean cut when it cuts out the patch on the leather. Alright guys, so now that we have our design made and ready to engrave, we need to get the leatherette ready. Here I have a brown, uh, rawhide, I'm sorry, a rawhide leatherette sheet from JDS Industries. I'll make sure to link them below so you guys can go check them out for yourselves. But this does not come with an adhesive backing, so that's what we need to do now. We need to put an adhesive backing onto our leatherette. So we got our leatherette ready, we're going to go ahead and put on our sheet. All right, so now we got the leatherette down. We want to line our adhesive up onto the leatherette. So we're just going to line that up nice and good there. I got my heat press turned on. The heat press is set at 300 degrees, or 330 degrees, and we're going to press it for 13 seconds. So now we're just going to slide it into the heat press, making sure we keep our edges lined up, and go ahead and press that down. So as you can see, it's now adhered to the leatherette. So we're going to flip it around and we're going to put the other side. And we're going to press that again for 13 seconds. All right, so now that the adhesive is glued onto there or heat pressed onto there, we're going to let it cool off and we will get ready to cut. All right, guys, so now that our leatherette has cooled off, it's had time to cool off, we're going to go ahead and peel off the back. So now we got the leatherette ready to engrave. So we're going to take it over to the laser and we're going to engrave it. So the machine I'm using is a 60 watt Omtech laser. Um, this is the autofocus. I don't even use the autofocus, I manually focus everything. So. When you're purchasing one, I wouldn't really focus too much on manual and autofocus. Um, the manual focus works just as well. Um, but this is the autofocus 60 watt. I mainly do leatherette, so it works perfect for what I need. Um, they do go up a lot higher in uh, wattage and power, uh, but this one works good for me. I'll make sure to link it in the description so that way you guys can go check them out. Great lasers, um, super easy to work with, so yeah. So now we are going to begin engraving. But first, 
You notice how the corners are stuck up on my leatherette? We need to go ahead and take magnets and stick all those down. All right, so now our leatherette is flat and it's ready to be engraved. So now that we got it ready to where we want to engrave over here, we're going to come over here to Lightburn. We're going to make sure we have our whole image highlighted and we're just going to press start. It's going to start engraving our cover. So we have our leatherette sheet that's been cut and ready to be cleaned. So to clean my leatherette sheets after they've been cut and engraved, I just use some uh, alcohol wipes. That's all they are. But yeah, so now that we got it clean, look how much better that looks. Very sharp, clean cuts. Perfect. So now we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it on the hat. All right, so let's get that charcoal and white hat that the customer wanted. My hats, I'm using Richardson 112 charcoal and white. You can get these at Epic Sports, Jiffy, um, SNS Activewear. So we got the hat, we're gonna take out the white cardboard that comes in it. We're gonna fold this flap up so that way you're getting heat all across the inside too i'm using the stalls hotronics fusion iq 360 i believe is the name it's a very long name but i'm going to make sure to link that in the description below as well um it's the best of the best when it comes to hat presses they do not make a hat press compared to this one um this is the top dog um it is a little bit on the pricier end but i'm telling you if you guys want to make hats Spend the money, get this one, it will pay for itself. I can almost guarantee it. Um, but anyways, we're gonna take the inside, fold it down, remember? We're gonna slide it over the bottom platen, go ahead and tighten it down, and we're gonna let that just warm up. All right guys, now that we have the leatherette patch cleaned, it's ready to press, we got our hat press warmed up. We're gonna go ahead and take the patch and simply just put it on the hat. So we got the hat on here, it's ready, it's warmed up. We're simply just gonna put the patch in the middle and I just hold down all four corners for about four seconds. One, two, three, four. That's gonna adhere the patch long enough for me to put the um, rubber piece. This is to keep the hat from creasing or scorching or anything like that. Um, it comes with the hat press. And then we're just gonna pull down on the hat press and we're gonna let it do its thing. Um, up and check that out. How does that look? Looks good, don't it? You have no creasing in your hats, no scarring, no scorching. Just a nice clean press right there. That's awesome. So now let's go ahead and go pack this up, guys. So we are in the shipping room now, guys. We got our packing slip. We got our completed hat that we just made. Check that bad boy out. And now we have to pack it and ship it. So I use, um, typically, I try to use a 8x6x6 by six by six hat, but today all we have is some 8x8x8s. By eight by um, all my boxes come from Uline. I'll make sure to leave a link down below for that as well. Then we're going to take the hat, and I just like to put like a little bit of green tissue paper around them. Um, just gives it that extra touch. We're going to drop that in there just like that. Makes it look nice and neat. We're going to go ahead and put another piece of green tissue paper on top. Because if you haven't noticed, green and orange are kind of my colors. Uh, they're going to get a free sticker. Drop that in there. And then we drop the packing slip in there. So once we do all that, we're going to write the order number on top of the box. Now, I like to brand all my boxes, but I just take that and make a little design in Canva, print it out on the four by six labels, 
and just slap it on the side of the box. So now, every person that touches this box in between here and the person's destination is gonna see my name. All right, let's print the shipping label and get this bad boy shipped off. So I use Shopify to create my uh, shipping labels as well. Um, there is probably some cheaper options. But for simplicity, I like things simple and easy, and it's easy to just do it straight from the Shopify website for me. Um, so that's what we do. Bow. The order number is gonna match the order number onto the shipping label. So if you have a bunch of boxes and a bunch of labels and only numbers, you're gonna be like, I don't know who's who, but you will, because it's gonna have the order number right there on the label. So let's set, slap this shipping level on. And that's it. So this order's ready to be sent out. I hope they love their hat. Thank you guys for helping me make it. Well guys, that's it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I had so much fun. Hopefully this gave you a cool insight to what I do. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it, subscribe if you wanna see more. I'm hoping to have more videos posted out throughout the year as we go. Um, also, go follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. I'm gonna have those linked below. Um, it's been fun, it's been real, but I'll see you guys later. Thanks.